Hey guys, welcome to HNS Academy. In today's video, we're going to talk about the Google Chrome installation errors. A lot of users are getting an error of installation fail due to unspecified error on Google Chrome these days. Uh, now, your error could be something similar. Let's say Google Chrome uh, installer failed to start or just saying installation failed or something like that. You could be getting any of these errors. Now, why this happens, it's because um, sometimes when the Google Chrome um, becomes slow or it's, it just doesn't work uh, the normal way, then we, what we normally do is we just uninstall the application and reinstall it again. And when you try to reinstall, um, it gives you um, some of these errors. Now, how we can fix that or what is the cause of this? Uh, when we try to reinstall the application, sometimes the old um, application uh, data or the registry files would still be there on your computer so it means that this uninstallation process wasn't done properly uh, or it has left out some of the files so we need to delete those files before we can uh, reinstall the application again so i'm going to show you how you can do that so let's get started uh, first thing we need to do if you're on uh, windows 10 you just need to type in reg for registry and then it would give you an app of registry editor however if you are um, on um, another version of windows let's say windows 7 or something then you need to go to the run command on your computer for that you need to press uh, windows plus r key on your computer and that will take you to this page over here over here you need to type in reg um, added so it's short for registry editor so when you type in this and then press ok that will open up the registry editor app just go ahead and click yes on that um, and that will take you to this page over here uh, once you're on this page uh, you need to uh, click on this little arrow you need to open up the option of h key current user open up this folder just click on the arrow and it will give you a drop down and then you need to click on the arrow next to the software and that will give you another breakdown over here uh, when you have this over here you'll see a folder of google if you click on the arrow next to that that will open up some uh, further options over here and as you can see you underneath google you can see chrome common some files so you can either delete the Chrome folder, just right click and delete it. But I would suggest to just delete the Google uh, folder as a whole. So just go ahead and right click on it and then click on delete and that will delete the Google folder. Once you're done with this, go back up and then you need to open up this uh, drop down, H key local machine. When you open it up, then again go to software and then in the drop down, you will see another Google folder, just right click and delete this as well once you've done uh, deleting both of these uh, folders so that is one part done then you again need to open up the uh, the run command and then you need to type in percentage local app data and then the percentage sign again and then press ok and that will take you to this folder over here um, over here you will again see a google folder when you open it it again says chrome and some other folders so just go ahead right click and then uh, delete the chrome uh, sorry the google folder over here as well so these are three steps you need to do once you're done with these after this just restart your computer uh, for the changes to to take effect and once you've done the uh, restart you can then uh, go ahead and um, try to install your Chrome, uh, Google Chrome again on your computer from the file um, which you've downloaded from um, the Chrome uh, website and that should go ahead without any problems. So that's all for today's video. Hope this was helpful and you've managed to install the Chrome app again on your computer. Uh, if this helped, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you get notified for any upcoming videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.